In recent months, we've shown attention on companies racing to bring electric aviation to the skies in the coming decades. Now, it's time to spotlight startups and automotive giants working to electrify dirty delivery and distribution trucks in the coming years. Less than 1% of fleet vehicles is electric, but that number is expected to grow by 12% by 2030. More so, falling battery costs, industry partnerships, and government incentives and mandates for zero-emission trucks from states such as California are pressuring the industry's biggest multinational producers to step on the gas, so to speak. While they're not all going to be winners, we're backing the following seven options as the best electric trucks worth waiting for in 2021. Nikola One. As of May 2016, Nikola Motor Company introduced its hydrogen-powered Class 8 electric semi-truck, the Nikola One. It is capable of pulling a total gross weight of 80,000 pounds and can go up to 1,200 miles on a full-range charge. 100% electric, the Nikola One has 335-horsepower electric motor and a dual-gear reduction at every wheel, 6x6. Combined Nikola One outputs over 2,000 horsepower and over 3,700 foot-pounds of torque before gear reduction and nearly 86,000 pounds of instant torque after gear reduction. The truck's six electric motors produce superior horsepower, torque, acceleration, pulling and stopping power over any Class 8 truck on the road. It can hit 60 miles an hour from a stop in 30 seconds and is also capable of climbing to a 6% grade at maximum weight at 65 miles per hour. Benefits of removing the diesel engine include a drastic reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, a larger and more aerodynamic cab, and a significantly quieter and more comfortable ride. The Semi is a fully automated vehicle with nearly 30% more cabin space for optimal comfort. There's a full smart computer within every truck to give the driver full real-time data, a 21-inch monitor, Wi-Fi, 4G connectivity. Tesla Semi the Tesla Semi is an all-electric, battery-powered Class 8 semi-truck in development by Tesla Incorporated. Two concept vehicles were unveiled in November 2017, and production in 2021 is planned. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the Semi would come standard with Tesla Autopilot that allows semi-autonomous driving on highways. The quickest acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, fully loaded, Instant traction control with four independent motors. Four independent motors provide maximum power and acceleration and require the lowest energy cost per mile. Enhanced autopilot helps avoid collisions. A centered driver position provides maximum visibility and control, and a low center of gravity offers rollover protection. Every driver is responsible for remaining alert and active when using autopilot and must be prepared to take action at any time. Irizar IE Truck In 2018, the Spanish coach builder Irizar showed the first company's truck. The Irizar IE 6x6 is initially targeting municipal uses. Access to a spacious cabin with a low floor is carried out through the automatic door of the bus type, while easy movement inside the cabin is facilitated by folding passenger seats. Irizar claims that the new IE has a lower step height than any of its competitors. The Irizar IE is powered by an electric motor made by Alcanza with a power of 230 kilowatts, which is connected to 75 kilowatt hour battery packs. Their number may vary depending on the tasks. Produced by Aduna. These systems are already used on Irizar buses. Nikola 2. By 2021, Nikola Motor Company will start, small scale, the production of Nikola 2 a Class 8 hydrogen electric truck with more than 1,000 horsepower and 2,000 foot-pounds of torque, nearly double the horsepower of any semi-truck on the road. The Nikola 2 has a range of 750 to 1,200 kilometers and zero tailpipe emissions. The trucks will be leased with the fuel included, as is the case with the Nikola 1. The Anheuser-Busch Brewing Corporation announced an order placement for up to 800 hydrogen fuel cell semi-trucks from Nikola Motor Company. The company intends to convert its entire dedicated fleet to renewable power by 2025. The company claims its Nikola 2 and Nikola Tre, the European variant, will come in both hydrogen and electric variants. However, it still shares that the hydrogen trucks will be for long-haul application, and the all-electric semis should be reserved for inner-city trips. Ford F-Vision Ford used the Hanover Motor Show to introduce the updated Transit family. But the company also had a surprise. 
the F-Vision. Unveiled earlier today, the F-Vision isn't a preview of the next generation F-150, but rather a futuristic semi created by Ford. Ford F-Vision also has massive wheels and a distinctive lower section which features air intakes that are surrounded by slender LED lights. We can also see video camera side mirrors and a flush mounted door which provides access to the cabin. The aerodynamic design extends to the cargo trailer as it features recessed wheels and sculpted panels. The end result looks a lot more futuristic than the traditional white box which are a common sight on the highway. Ford was surprisingly tight-lipped about the concept, but Motor Authority says the F-Vision has an electric powertrain and a level 4 semi-autonomous driving system. The latter should enable the truck to drive itself in certain situations. The concept also uses lightweight components and features an interactive front end that can reportedly display different designs. While Ford F-Vision shares some similarities with the other futuristic semis, Ford reportedly said the F-Vision was inspired by Marvel superheroes. This seems plausible. The front of the concept sort of resembles Iron Man's helmet. Freightliner E-Cascadia the Freightliner E-Cascadia is based on the new Cascadia, the most successful heavy-duty long-haul truck in the North American market. In its first generation, the E-Cascadia will offer up to 730 peak horsepower. The E-Cascadia's batteries with 550 kilowatt hours will provide enough energy for a range of up to 250 miles or 400 kilometers and can be recharged to 80% in about 90 minutes allowing it to cover yet another 200 miles, or 320 kilometers. The Freightliner EM2106 is ideally suited for local distribution of food and beverage goods, as well as for last mile deliveries. The batteries of the first generation EM2 provide 325 kilowatt hours for up to 480 horsepower. The range of the EM2 is around 230 miles, or 370 kilometers, and the vehicle's batteries can be recharged to around 80% within just 60 minutes enough for a range of an additional 184 miles or 300 kilometers. Thor Trucks ET-1 Thor Trucks, based in Los Angeles, California, unveiled its aerodynamic, battery electric powered Class 8 heavy duty truck prototype in 2017. This Class 8 tractor is designed for regional haul applications with daily ranges of 300 miles, 483 kilometers, or less. In order to get the ET-1 demonstrator on the road quickly, it was built on a Freightliner Navistar Class 8 tractor chassis with heavy-duty Dana axles and off-the-shelf permanent magnet electric motors. With this prototype, Thor Trucks laid claim to being the first electric truck company to show its prototype Class 8 truck, the ET-1, could successfully transport up to 80,000 pounds, or 36,287 kilograms, across 100 miles, or 167 kilometers, on a single charge. The XOS ET-1 semi-tractor prototype has the following characteristics. Battery electric, zero emission powertrain battery, 21,700 lithium-ion batteries assembled into a custom 600 to 700 volt battery module rated at 30 kilowatt hours. XOS Trucks is also targeting the smaller battery electric class 6 medium-duty delivery truck market. We hope you liked the video and we want to know which was your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell down below if you want to make sure you never miss out on important new information like this.